All right. Hey, you're here. I'm here. Welcome back to the 4% Entrepreneur Show. Vic here with you. Hope you guys are doing phenomenal today. Um, hope your day is going great. Hope your business is doing good. Hope your business is booming. And if it's not, let's talk about how to get it booming today, right? Uh, man, I had a lot of things happening over the weekend. You know, I was, um, uh, I was over in Las Vegas, met some uh, some great people here. We've got some really, 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 really phenomenal things happening inside 4% behind the curtain that you guys will see. Uh, if you have an account with 4%, stay tuned for huge groundbreaking announcements. Um, I can't wait to you know, start revealing some of these things that we have been working on. Uh, listen, today's show, I want to talk to you about, uh, we're probably going to keep it short, keep it simple here. And because uh, we've got we to gotta leave. It's been a little crazy, you know, lately here, but uh, I did not want to miss connecting with you guys here today. <clears throat> so before I go uh, and uh, jet out of the, out of the studio and the office here, um, I wanted to talk with you about something that a lot of people have been asking me. A lot of people I see out there are still kind of confused and still asking over and over and over again. Happens in e-commerce space, happens in digital marketing, happens in uh, pretty much every market, you know, health and wellness and because when you look at, you know, like what you're doing and the industry that you're in, it happens in insurance industry, real estate industry, uh, consulting. It happens in every single industry that's out there. Uh, and that is this. Everybody's asking this question. What is the secret to success to what I do? How, how do I do what I do better? How can I get better results? What's the secret, man? Everybody's looking for the secret, right? You know what I'm talking about? So what is the secret? I'll tell you the number one secret to success, okay? We'll keep it super simple here, but I'm telling you, friends, if you're watching me right now, okay, if you're watching this live uh, or, you know, or if you're watching this as a, uh, you know, later after the fact or whatever the case might be, okay, I'll tell you the secret. What's the secret? You know, a lot of people come to me, they're like, you know, they're like, Vic, we're doing e-commerce, right? There is e-commerce. E-commerce is a huge industry booming industry, right? Um, billions and billions and billions of dollars, uh, you know, in sales, in volume, in activities going on there, right? E-commerce has surpassed, like, Cyber Monday, I think it was a couple years ago, for the first time ever, Cyber Monday sales have surpassed Black Friday sales, which has never, ever happened in the history of the world, okay? We've got you know, companies like Amazon right now, and you know, a lot of people are in e-commerce doing e-commerce, right? A lot of these folks having their, their own Shopify store or their online store, or building their brand or, you know, local mom and pop shop owners and, and, and whatnot, right? These guys are like, dude, how do we compete with the Goliath, which is the big A, right? How do we compete with the big Amazon, okay? That's a good question for you. How do you compete with Amazon, right? So if I have an e-commerce store, Okay, if I have an e-commerce, if this is my, my site over here, okay, and, and this is Amazon over here, a trillion dollar company, man, okay, a big T. I'm not a trillion dollar company yet, you know what I mean? You might be just a startup, you might be somebody working from your basement in your home or from your kitchen table. How do you compete with this guy right here or with this, you know, with, with the big gorilla out there? a trillion dollar company. How do you do that? Good question, right? I'm gonna talk about this. What's your number one secret? And I'll tell you, there is a way to compete with Amazon, right? Most people, they don't, they don't understand this concept and they're like, they, they don't stand a chance, right? If you are in, um, you know, if you're, if you're a real estate agent, okay, and you are a part of a whatever, you know, agency or company that you're in, you know, how do you compete with with all these other guys, you know, in a real estate industry, okay, how do you stand out? If you are in uh, a particular information marketing company, if you're a network marketing company, right, if you're a network marketer, uh, a lot of people watching this show, they're network marketers. If you're in a, you know, I know there's a company called, uh, I'm not going to drop any names, doesn't matter, but, it, you know, travel company, <laughs> trillion, I think travel is like a, uh, um, what is that, six or eight trillion dollar a year industry, travel as a general, right? So the opportunities are, are absolutely tremendous, absolutely tremendous, right? So we need to be, we need to understand key lever, key levers. 
you know, small hinges open huge doors, right? Huge doors. So if you can figure out that small hinge, right, and if you can, if you can focus on that, you know, it's, it's the whole concept of that four, you know, 496, right? The 96% of people are doing, uh, you know, uh, are doing things that, that are just, you know, making them go in circles and circles. So we got to figure out what are, what are those four key four, you know, handful of activities that if we focus on and crafting, we can go and we can compete with all these, right? And you know what that is? Okay, anybody know? If you guys are watching this, let me know in the comments. I'll be checking the comments a little bit later on. I don't have my computer here with me right now. Okay, but please let me know. Okay, how do you compete with Amazon? Okay, you know what the factor is? Okay, is, um, is going to be your edge. Okay, this is your big secret. Okay, let me explain to you what I mean by that. Very, very simply. So I can have, right, I can have my little Shopify store over here, okay, and this is Amazon, okay, and this is me, okay. <clears throat> so if, if a consumer is looking, okay, if a consumer, if I'm looking for something, okay, if I'm looking for, um, for a particular uh, product, okay, Naturally, people are being conditioned because these guys are everywhere, right? Everybody knows Amazon, for example. And again, you can apply this to any industry, any niche. You know, we'll just keep it super simple here right now, okay? But once you understand this concept and you understand uh, what I'm trying to, you know, to portray to you here, um, you'll be able to dominate. So you got you to gotta understand, you really got to get very clear on this, okay? It's your edge. Really what we're talking about is, 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 is there is three components, okay? If I want to go... And, uh, and I want to compete with Amazon in, you know, in e-commerce space. In every transaction, there is three things, okay? Number one, you got the product, okay? There's three components to transaction. You got, you got the product, okay? Number two, you've got the consumer, right? Somebody who's going to buy the product. Number three is... You've got a you've got a you got a person who is going to connect the product to consumer, okay, which is a seller, okay, so or a distributor, okay. I, I guess I could probably, you know, switch these around here. You know, you've got the product, you've got the distributor in the center, and you've got the consumer, okay. So this is this is a distributor. Okay, this is uh, this is the, the this is the product here. Okay, whatever that product might be that I'm selling for money. Okay, and then we've got the consumer. I'll put it simply here for you. Okay, uh, and then we've got the we've got the consumer. Key. Okay. okay, so this is our target market here. Okay. What I need to understand, very, very basic thing, what I need to do is I've got to understand there's something happening between the consumer and the product, okay? So if I go to, uh, if I have a website, okay, uh, and I can put myself here, okay, my business is going to be a direct reflection. I always talk about this. My business, I don't have a business. It's one of the key rules of being a 4% marketer, right? Being, being that, that top you know, top of the top, cream of the crop as far as marketing goes, right? You gotta understand some basic rules, some key fundamental rules, and, that, and one of those rules is this, is I don't have a business, I am a business, right? So I am a business. So this product that I am offering, okay, it, it basically, it's part of what I do. It's an extension of what my business is. Okay? It's an extension of my world, okay? I, this is not my business, but it's an extension of my business. It's like, a, it's like one of those things that I do, okay? So, so my consumer, I gotta understand, so if you're thinking about this, if you're thinking about how do I get my consumer to buy the product, okay, then you're dealing on a very, very shallow, on a very shallow, uh, uh, you know, you, you're swimming in the very shallow waters. And you don't, you don't stand a chance because consumers can go out there, they can go to Amazon, they can, they can just buy a product from anybody if they just really wanted to buy a product, right? But what I need to understand is when it comes to me being a distributor, and us being marketers, number one secret to success in marketing is creating your conversion machine. Okay? You're creating your conversion machine. Your conversion machine 
will be your edge. To the degree, okay, that and how good your conversion machine is, will you be successful? Okay, now this is not what most people want to hear when they're starting out because they're like, well, dude, I just, you know, uh, I thought this, this marketing stuff is easy and, and, you know, I think, you know, just to walk in the park and do nothing and make millions and sometimes, very, very rarely, that might be the case for a very short period of time, right? But most of the time, or in most cases, almost, oh, almost 100% of the time, right? Or only 100% of the time, what happens here is uh, those people find out the hard way that that short time frame that they might have their you know flesh in the pen type success uh, it passes and then they're back to square one so us marketers right now you guys especially in this day and age where you have companies like Amazon right trying to sell products and they're selling products in a trillion dollar company okay you've got another trillion dollar company which is Apple right now and there's gonna be more and more and more companies that will be popping out how do we compete you compete by having a, a, an edge in your marketing machine. Now, what am, I, what am I talking about when I say an edge, okay? So there is, uh, there is a, when, when, when you're talking about marketing machine, you gotta understand this, okay? So there is a, there is a market over here. Let's, re, let's have this market, okay? So this cloud represents a market here. And so what we do, okay, is we need to generate interest okay how do we generate interest in the market we get attention number one is to get attention so I don't even have to think about competition okay so if I'm if I if, I, if you have an e-commerce store if you have you know your own e, you know online business or internet business or uh, uh, you're selling insurance you're selling real estate doesn't matter what it is you've got to you got to create attention so so how do you create attention here okay you create attention you grab attention through your uh, through your advertisements and through the ads that you put out there. Very, very simple, okay? You can create attention through the value, through the content that you put out there. You, cr you create attention. So basically, uh, there's, there's two kinds of attention. There is an attention of like, okay, whoever can scream the loudest, okay, whoever can, can put out more ads and, and pay more money for the ads, that's okay, you know, that's one kind of attention. You can probably do that too. Another kind of attention is, how do you, how do you communicate to your, to your potential, to your potential uh, customer over here, okay? How do you put, uh, communicate to your potential customer based on what they're looking for, which is the result, okay? And then try to talk to them about those results over here in your ads, okay? Whereas every ad that you put out there, write this down. If you can, if you can do this, it will change your game. Every piece of advertisement that you put out there, okay? If you can engineer that ad to be a value-driven ad, okay? Value-driven ad. It's very, very easy to compete in that department because almost nobody's doing that. Very, very few people are doing that kind of stuff, right? So most people put out an ad that's, that talks about the product, okay, that talks about just, just like generic stuff, what everybody else in their market is doing, right? And so if you're competing with in, a, in a huge, big market, uh, it's kind of difficult, okay? Very few marketers right now, anyways, it's going to get, you know, this is this is probably going to change. You know, the way I see it is probably going to change, and the landscaping is going to change over the next, you know, maybe a year or two, right? Uh, however, right now I can go and I can I can put up a net. Now, when it comes to creating an attention, right now it's easier than ever before to go out there and get attention. A lot of people naturally will be thinking like, well, where do I advertise? How do I advertise? And so naturally, a lot of people, because of what's going on in the market right now and what everybody's teaching out there, you know. Uh, every, almost everybody seems to be teaching like Facebook advertisement, right? Go to Facebook ads. And so you got to understand what happens there. And fa I'm not, you know, dissing Facebook or anything like that. It's a great medium of, uh, you know, uh, th that we can harness the power of that social media to advertise, to get in front of people, super targeting uh, abilities, right? I mean, just insane stuff that we can do on, on Facebook there. And so I'm not discounting that. So we can use that, but still apply. There are other a lot easier ways to advertise, right? So such as, for example, influencer marketing. Right now, I'm telling you guys, influencer marketing is, is insanely under, underpriced, okay? So I can go whereas, you know, uh, Facebook is changing their algorithms uh, almost on a daily basis, right? So advertising, you know, uh, guidelines are being changed, pricing models are being changed, pr you know, advertising algorithms are being changed and all that stuff. And so a lot of people are just kind of trying to catch up with the wave, right? I'm telling you, smart marketers right now, what we need to do is we need to understand where 
see, if everybody's going to the, everybody's going to the left, you've got to go to the right. Right? So if you follow the masses, and, and when you look at what the masses are doing right now, the masses currently are going towards Facebook. Why? Because every single guru and their dog are preaching Facebook advertising. You know what I mean? Now, you can do that, and, 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 so, and, and in doing so, you have to be really extra creative nowadays. Like a year ago, it was easier. Two years ago, even, even easier, right? Uh, to advertise on Facebook, get attention on Facebook, super easy. When Facebook Lives came out, dude, you could do a Facebook Live, you can sell anything, doesn't matter. Right now, not so much, right? So they limit your reach, you have to pay money, and you, know, you have to pay a lot, money, a lot of money uh, to do that, uh, you know, to be able to reach your people that follow you. And again, you can still do this, but this is what the big masses are doing, okay? So what I can do now is I can go to people that, that have big influencers, we're talking, uh, if you guys are not utilizing YouTube influencers, it's crazy. See, I, you, can, you can sponsor a, a video. Uh, I teach all of this stuff, you know, in you know, Internet Traffic Master, if you guys have it, obviously. Um, check out the master class that I'm doing. But I'm giving you, I want you to start thinking a little bit differently about, you know, how do you get attention right now, okay? Because that's step number one, is you understanding how to get attention. If you can successfully get attention, and I don't have to, I don't have to like, wreck my brains and, and try to, you know, figure out, okay, what do I, where do I go? Look, the, 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 the easiest thing for me to do now, like today, how would I go about advertising today? Currently, you've got, you've got a product, whatever you're promoting, the product produces a particular result, okay? So what you need to do is you need to create an ad, okay? You need to identify your market. So, so message to market match, right? I think we talked about it, you know, on the, on the last episode of the 4% of the Entrepreneur Show. So my message, which is my, my ad, okay? Message to market match. And my message is connected to my result that my market wants, okay? So if I have that, not, I simply go to like an influencer. Uh, YouTube, influence, YouTube influencers right now are very, very underpriced, super underpriced. Um, social media influencers, right? Super underpriced. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leverage somebody else's brand. I'm gonna leverage somebody else's pool of people, pool of audience, I can just tap into them, right? And by being smart, talking about your product doesn't matter, because I a thousand people might be promoting your product, okay? So what I need to do is the stuff that I've been talking about over and over and over again, okay, is you need to have your own door, okay, which is your landing page where people can opt in, okay? And so this page should be generic, should not be product-centric. I see so many uh, people out there promoting you know, uh, advertising their landing pages, but they're, they're talking about their product on the landing page, okay? So, for example, if you are in a competitive company, if you are in uh, a network marketing company, for example, right? See, a lot of people contact me, they're like, Vic, I'm promoting this company, what, you know, how do I stand out? How do I do that? First and foremost, if you're promoting something that's very, very competitive, that other people in your space are promoting, utilizing the same, you know, similar strategies as you are, such as Facebook or whatever else that you're doing, including influencer marketing, if your people, are getting, very, very few people doing influencer marketing right now, but if they do that, right? So what I need to do is I need to understand how do I, how do I, uh, how do I approach this whole thing by being smarter, right? How can you outsmart and outcool your competition? And, and step number one in that, it would be this. Your landing page should be generic. It should not be company-centric, okay? So if you're promoting a network marketing company or direct sales company or insurance, it doesn't matter, right? unless the company absolutely requires you to, I would keep this page, this landing page, generic, meaning no logos, right? Uh, you don't wanna really, you know, kinda, because if somebody already, if your potential customer or your potential prospect already saw that a landing page with a company's logo previously by somebody else and they had a less than awesome experience, okay, they will associate that less than awesome experience with their you know, with that, with that landing page that they, you know, could have seen before or the logo or something like that, right? And so that could be, uh, you know, that could repel them, okay? So I want to eliminate points of resistance. Write this down. Take a look at your funnel. Take a look at your process, right? Everything has a process. We're talking about that uh, on this show and also in 4% and all that stuff. So every single thing has a process. You got to lay out your process. Very few people do this, okay? If you lay out your process, okay, you say, point number one, Somebody clicks on my ad. Before even that, what my ad looks like. Okay, so ad can be generic. Okay, ad should have no 
logos, no brand for the company if it's a competitive company, right? Because I want to gain an advantage. I want to take him into my world because what's going to happen is I'm going to take him into my machine over here. Okay, once they come into my world, this landing page talks about the result, and that's why you got to know your market. You got to know what you're talking about, okay? Or the people that you're talking about. But then I'm going to I'm going to drop them in here, and this right here is going to be is going to be my machine. It's going to be my conversion machine, okay? So every single lead that comes here, I don't expect them to buy right away. This is the world we live in right now, my friends, okay? Don't expect for every single person on your list who opts in to automatically be excited to buy your product. People don't do that, okay? Same thing in, in you know, uh, you know, same thing with like e-commerce or, or other industries, you know, real estate or uh, uh, painters, roofers, anything like that, like on a first contact, right? Because people have options now. There is a lot of noise going on. So what I need to do is I need to figure out uh, and I need to engineer specific, okay, specific flow. So I don't have it here, but you guys know, you know, the, the, the blueprint. I have it in my other office. The blueprint we talked about, right? That is your secret key, okay? So you take him into your machine over here which is your conversion mechanism, okay? It will consist of, you know, so when they, when they opt in here, two things happen, right? They go to my list, and then they go to retargeting, okay? And then, uh, you know, and then they go through some sort of a funnel, okay? Then they go to my hub, okay? Then that funnel goes to the product I'm selling, okay? and then my hub redirects them over here. But then again, what I wanna do is I wanna open up channels and doors for me to promote other things that I, I might gain competitive advantage. And at the same time, okay, this positions me and this gives me tremendous edge, okay, tremendous edge over anybody else that's, that, that I'm competing with. Okay, so this way, the, the only way that I can win competing with Amazon is through personal interaction, okay? Like this, personal interaction. See what I'm saying? So if I can, you know, if, if you're having an, an e-commerce store, okay, when somebody comes into your store, you gotta figure out, and this, this is a conversation, we're gonna have like a master class on this one alone, okay? But I'm telling you, eliminate points of resistance, right? And then get closer to your potential customer not by being this somebody who you know pretends to be you know somebody that you're not really but you can literally be working from your kitchen table but the 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 process that you put out right the process that you create and engineer it can make you look like a billion dollar company you know what i mean and so the the the, the easiest way is to through personal interaction so for example one of the things that i see that that's some of the things that we're also you know uh, uh working on implementing some of our funnels right now and if you haven't seen that, you will see that a lot, right? Is, um, uh, you know, do like, you know, ask people questions. So when they get on your site, you know, ask them a question about, you know, what it is that, that, that they're looking for. Maybe give them a, uh, a, one of the things that we're really going to do is like a, a little, uh, a, a little mini walkthrough uh, process, uh, finding out exactly what they're looking for. So in 4%, right? Somebody comes into the 4% and you guys will see this being implemented. Because we have a lot of people coming in from different, uh, different, you know, directions and uh, uh, with different, you know, desired outcomes and whatnot, right? So I want to know, because everybody's going to be different. If somebody's coming in here looking to learn uh, copywriting, right? If somebody's coming in here looking for uh, traffic generation, if somebody's coming in here looking for marketing ideas or, uh, you know, funnel building or anything like that, and, and as we grow, it, one of the things that we're doing uh, in four percent that you guys will see. Okay, and again, I'm telling you what we're doing. I'm, this is not me teaching you theory. You know, we're actually talking. You know, I'm telling you what, what exactly what's happening in our business. Is we are going to have a little pop quiz or or a little uh, survey or a little um, assessment, right? Or 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 a guide that's automated, right? It will basically say, hey, please select what you're looking for, and and we'll give them a list, right? So they select what they're looking for, and then it'll take them to the ne next step. I'll talk to you more about this maybe in another uh, segment, okay? But that will basically allow you to step closer with your prospect, and then what you do, okay, is you have these people on your list, okay? So I can send them emails. I, email segmentation is huge, okay? So if, if I don't segment my emails, if I don't know, 
okay? That person who came, comes in here, especially if you're selling multiple products or if you're selling, if you're just selling one product, okay? And you don't know exactly what this person is looking for, like if they did not tell you exactly what they're looking for, it will be very difficult for you to, to talk to them specifically based on the result that they're looking for, right? Uh, because you will just be, you, you'll just send out your, you know, your, your messages being kind of blanketed out across the, the audience and it's, it's not really going to make you stand out that much, okay? So what I want to do here is I want to be very precise and that can be engineered. So surveying your people is really important. Segmenting your people is really important. If somebody says, you know what, I'm looking for, uh, for uh, you know, copywriting. I want to become a better copywriter. So then I know that this person, okay, I'm going to put him in a bucket over here a little sub list, okay, list A, okay, and a lot of autoresponders, you know, they can tag nowadays, yeah, I think m most major autoresponders, they can allow you to tag people, right, based on what they're looking for. Uh, so I'm going to put him in, I'm going to put this guy in this list A over here, and this might be all about uh, copywriting, okay, if somebody is looking for, you know, uh, traffic, I'm going to put him in the list B, and that might be traffic, right? So then what happens here is every single, you know, tag or every single list has its own set of autoresponder emails, okay, that might be going out to that person, talking to them specifically about what it is that they're looking for. Does that make sense? Okay, same thing. So, so basically I'm segmenting. So this is one way of, of getting closer and, and creating your edge because if, if I'm coming in to something, right, and again, you guys, aesthetics and all that stuff, again, remember, you're not... If, you, if you're going to compete with the big giants out there in your, in your industry, you've got to understand that everything matters, okay? People right now that say that, well, aesthetics don't matter and the uglier the site, the better. It's not always the case, okay? Um, I'm gonna argue with that because, you know, you, you don't win by being sloppy, right? You don't win by being, just slapping something together and, and your formatting is all off and your, your website looks, you know, ugly and, and whatnot, right? Right now, Everything matters. Aesthetics to how things look on mobile, you know, devices. That's why it's really important for you to, if you're creating pages, hang on one sec here. If you're creating, uh, you know, websites or funnels or whatnot, um, you know, yourself, you want to make sure that everything is mobile responsive. Most of your consumers right now will be on mobile, okay? Um, apps, you know, we're going to be, uh, a lot of what's happening now will be moving to apps. And so engaging people, maybe I want to give them an app. Maybe when they come into my world here, I want to take them to an app, which is one of the things that we're going to be doing with 4% as well. So I want, to I want to remove them from this noisy market over here, and I want to put them into my world, which is my machine over here, okay? And that will include all these things that I'm talking about. And this is just a few of many, many, many things that we can do. So how can you remove points of resistance, number one, okay? Uh, have that message to market match, point number two, Point number three, segment and get closer to your prospect based on their core desire. There's a surface desire, right? I want to have a marker. But my core desire, really, why do I want to have this marker? Is because I just want to be able to write. So, so if I'm selling markers, right, you, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to be married to this marker, quote unquote married, right? I don't want to be dependent on this marker for my existence in, in a financial space, right? I don't want to, like my business to depend on just one marker, but I want to be the person who can sell, the, you know, marker A, marker B, marker C, different brands, right? And maybe you can become that, that somebody who will educate your consumer through your machine over here on the best markers for what they need. So what are you looking for? Are you looking to write on paper? Are you looking to write on whiteboard? Are you looking to write on, on a wall, on a car, you know? Uh, what are you looking for to use that marker on? You see what I'm saying? And so that will allow your consumer to bond with you Okay, and so the cooler the experience over here, and if you, again, if you guys are in 4%, just kind of real, really pay close attention to, to what you will see coming out, you know, what we're doing here, uh, and then see if you can model that. A lot of you guys have eStage. We have eStage product, right, and it's called your hub. And as you're developing that, we have specifically created that product, eStage, to allow you to have a home on the internet so that you can have this going on in your business, whatever industry, whatever market you're in. Even if you're a beginner, okay, you can leverage Okay, so if you don't have products that you have created or whatever, if you're an affiliate marketer, you know, you can, you can still create this uh, situation here, okay, that allows you to, to have your edge uh, in whatever it is you do. You can do this with, with e-commerce, digital marketing, 
uh, online businesses, network marketing, anything like that, right? Does that make sense, everybody? Yes? Make sure that, uh, hang on one sec. Okay. Now, what's, what's the next thing? Okay, <clears throat> so the next thing is this, is you got to understand that there is a gestation period to everything, okay? If I plant a seed in the, in, the, in the ground, it takes a certain amount of time for that seed to grow, okay? And so what I see a lot of people are, uh, are getting impatient with is that, you know, if I spend a dollar over here, and if I don't make two dollars in two minutes over here, then, oh my goodness, this business doesn't work, okay? So what happens is, is you've got to understand that, that right now, it might not be as easy for you to break even like it was before, let's say, three years ago or five years ago, okay? So like five years ago, I could literally run an ad on Facebook or, uh, you know, Google. I can run a, a, a Google AdWord campaign, and I can be selling a product. I did not even have to have this right here. This was not even needed, you know, five, like eight years ago, okay? I could go directly from the ad to the product, and I would, my conversions might be five, six, seven, eight, ten percent okay? So I would be profitable just like that. It was like printing money, man. Right now, things changed, okay? Right now, competition got bigger. Right now, we've got all these technologies that are, that are working, and so right now, the, the market got a lot noisier, okay? Uh, th there, there is a lot more noise in, in the market. There is a lot more movement. There is a lot more moving parts. So what I need to do now is I got to be smart. I got to understand that my competition, if I'm going to run an ad, okay, and I don't, uh, you know, and I don't turn profit immediately on that one single product sale right away in like, you know, first, you know, day or two or, or a week, you got to have a back end, okay? That's why I'm a huge proponent, okay? Why am I keep talking about this thing called multiple streams of income, right? You, if you want to sustain your business, if you want to, uh, you know, if you want to create an edge, you you want to you want to make sure that you have enough financial uh, stability, right? That allows you to strategically outmarket your competition. Okay, get somebody says I think Dan Kennedy said this. He said if you can spend more money to acquire a customer, you can win. Okay, I think I think it was Dan Kennedy. If not, we'll just give him a credit anyway. He's a smart dude. I learned a lot from him. Uh, you know, in uh, for you know, in direct sales uh, world. So, so how do I spend more money? Here is is I can I can have multiple streams of income. These can be, you know, symbiotic products. These can be tools and picks and shovels based on what I'm looking for and what I'm doing. And again, if you guys watched, you know, the previous episode we had, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about that. But look, think about your your situation, what it is that you're doing, and your, your, number one, uh, your number one secret to your success is going to be your edge. Your edge, what that means is, it means is, is how you create your, your, your marketing machine over here, okay? And how do you, how do you stack in the, how do you stack in the marketing world so that it allows you to, right, to go out there and get the attention have multiple streams of, or, or have multiple channels of revenue coming in, so that you can you can you can afford to pay more money, okay, to acquire a customer. But then understand that there is a gestation period. So your customers coming into your into your world here, uh, your job and the, and the my right now what we're doing, you guys, this is like this is a place where people get indoctrinated into your way of just who you are, okay? Again, you don't have a business, okay? I don't have a business, I am a business. This is a reflection of me, okay? It's your thinking, it's your behavior, it's how you act, it's how you, how you communicate, so that's why everything matters right now, okay? Your ability to be able to, you know, maybe shoot a video and talk to your customer. If you are in real estate or insurance, uh, if you're in like a high dollar sales type uh, environment, right? I'll tell you this. There are sites out there. I'm blanking out on one of them. I, I'll probably tell you the next time. But there is a, you know, there are websites and there are services where I can go and I can literally uh, write and I can create individual videos for each one of my subscribers. Okay, I can record a video, and it will ins it will basically make the video personalized to that person. Okay, so imagine if you're in real estate, if you have a 
you know, a, a prospect looking for, you know, whatever they're looking for, houses or, you know, or commercial or, you know, condos or whatever the thing is, right? Imagine being able to shoot a video to them saying and just literally talk directly to your customer, addressing them by their name because you have their name, right? They're in your system, okay? And sending that video out to them in the email and then the video, when they open the email, the video actually plays in the email. It's crazy what we can do right now, right? And so that customer or that prospect will see your message, okay? Do you think they'll respond to you or somebody else or, uh, you know, 50 other people who are trying to get their attention, okay? So, so, so these are little things that will give you an edge. So, so you, again, everything matters. So your ability to be able to, A, know your topic. You got to know your industry. Know what you're doing, okay? Know your company that you're working with. If you're selling, you know, as a vendor or as an affiliate for other company, you want to make sure you understand the product in and out, okay? Number three, you got to understand humans, <laughs> you know? Like, if I'm a human being, what would make me respond? Like, map this out. This is what I do. Map this out for yourself and then be like, all right, what would make me respond to a particular ad? Why would I respond to a particular ad, okay? So understand human behavior and then ask yourself, how can I separate myself from my competition? So this was where it might be a good idea for you to start paying attention to how other people in your, market, uh, in your marketplace are marketing and what kind of messages they're sending out, what, you know, how they communicate to you. And then you take a step back and you look at it and be like, how can I be different? You know, how can I make this process easier? How can I make this better? What are the sticky points or what are the, the, the points of resistance as far as I'm concerned, and how can I remove them observing other people's marketing behaviors, right, and, and, and strategies. And so what you do is that you, you try to eliminate as many of those as possible, okay? The easiest way to lead is leading with value. If your customer coming in here, or your potential, you know, your, your prospect, if they're coming in into your world, I want them to gain, regardless if they buy a product or not, I want them to win. Okay, they can win emotionally, they can win, you know, literally, right? Uh, heck, they can actually win something too, like something physical if you're running contests or whatnot for fun, okay? Depending on your industry, you can do that. But I want that person to, when they come into my world, I want their life to become better. If I can improve somebody's life, if I can make them feel better about themselves, about, who, you know, who they are, what they're all about, where they're going, if I can, if I can, if I can be an asset to that person, if I can be somebody who brings uh, more value into their life, okay, if I can make their life better as a result of them coming in contact with me, that is going to be my huge edge. Okay? And so what I see right now is very, very, very few people are looking at their marketing that way. Okay? And so right now, if you're playing the game like the majority of playing, which is whoever can scream the loudest, whoever can spend more money on ads and then, and then hope and pray that their stuff is going to convert, okay? If I will do those, if I will focus on those small hinges, okay, those small hinges will open huge doors for me, okay? So that way I can go and I, you know, somebody who deals with Amazon, they don't have that personal experience, right? They don't have that, that, that personal touch. Uh, if you're selling clothing, they don't have that personal touch that you can engineer, okay? If, you, if you're doing that, if you're selling info marketing product, if you're selling insurance, real estate, you know, roofing, contract, doesn't matter. Think, how can you add more value to your customer's life? Forget about selling. And this is a tricky thing because a lot of people, especially they're starting out, they're thinking, how can I sell because I need to make money, my bills are due, whatever the case might be, right? Forget selling, think value, okay? Think connection, bring them into your world. This is going to be a place where people will, will chase you. People will pay more money to deal with you than your competitors because they so resonate with you and they got that bond going on with you. Does that make sense? That, my friend, will, be, will give you a huge edge in your marketing and that is your single biggest secret to success in marketing. All right? Hopefully I didn't confuse you. Hopefully you're getting this. This is a, this is a you know, a lot of, it's very easy to, to kind of let this go over your head and be like, all right, what's the secret? <laughs> you know, um, look, we're going to be getting together more and more. I'm going to be, you know, I'll be putting out master classes. As a matter of fact, if you're an affiliate, if you're promoting somebody else's product, 
check out. We don't have that as of today yet, uh, but you know, here in the next few days, today's what September 18th. That I'm, you know, we're talking together. Um, but uh, check out the 4% challenge for affiliate marketers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, if you're selling somebody else's product, doesn't matter what the product is. Okay, if you're an affiliate, okay. You got a product, you got a customer. If, you, if you're the connector of the product, I'm going to teach you. The 4% challenge literally walks you through step by step by step, day by day by day. How do you literally start today? No list, no prospects, no subscribers, no nothing. No name, right? And how do you build yourself to where the goal, the outcome of that is how do we get to our first $10,000 in revenue, okay, selling somebody else's product, following this model here, following this process literally every day. What, what would I do? And so I'm going to walk you through. It's a phenomenal training. It's a phenomenal program that we have uh, coming out specifically for affiliate marketers. And then, you know, later on as we progress, you know, through the 4%, you know, we'll have that for like consultants and real estate people and, you know, info marketers and network marketers and whatnot. Uh, but that will literally show you, not only give you theory or give you like, a, a, you know, a, a visual training, but it will actually, it's like a look over the shoulder and, and you actually see the process, like literally real, you know, it's like being an apprentice, you know, um, shadowing somebody, you know, so it's going to be really, really cool. Looking forward to that. Um, I'll make an announcement when that becomes available. If you don't have an account with 4%, go ahead and create yourself an account with 4%. Check out what we've got going on. We have a lot of, a lot of really, really cool stuff happening here. And I look forward to seeing you again at the next episode of the 4% Entrepreneur Show. Be great, everybody. Keep that dream alive. Be a 4%. See ya.